Hey guys, this is literally like the 11th time I've tried to make this video. I'm sorry the lighting is so bad, but my iPad, it looks really weird. Like, it looks like it's zoomed in, um, and my camera's not working. Since this lighting is going to be really bad, I'll take pictures for you guys too. But as you can see, I made a new cage because the pigs are in my room now because my mom is allergic to them, so they have to stay in here. Um, but anyway, here's an overview. It's pretty much one floor, but there's a little loft up there. Um, so let's start from this side, I guess. Um, if you look back in there, there's uh, those, those pink things that Snow White is jumping on. Go ahead, Snow White, demonstrate. Go in and some hay. Well, that pink thing and then this pink thing is bricks wrapped in flea so they can get in and out of that bin. Ah, there, Snow White's demonstrating. To eat hay. Um, this is the upper floor. Two grids, three grids, and then two grids this way. Um, they kick all their blankets out of the way. I swear I'm not really a bad piggy owner. The pigs just hate their cage. Um, there's some food. And a shadow that makes it look scary. The ramp to go upstairs. Um, this thing, this grid is here for, like, a support. Um, I don't know what else to show you. Um, it's two grids by one, the back wall is one, two, three, four, five grids. That's three grids. It's a lot bigger than their old cage, that's for sure. Because this, this actually was their old cage, this half of it. So it would have stopped here at this corner and just cut off. Um, and this grid wouldn't have been here. So it's a lot bigger. They're still rarely ever in their cage. I think this is the longest they've ever been in their cage. But I'm just trying to get them used to it because they seem a little, like, nervous, I guess. Like, they, they hesitate before they go up the ramp. But they had a ramp in their old cage. The same ramp, actually. Um, so I don't know why they'd be scared or anything like that. I'm going to take pictures. Um, well, you know, it's held together by zip ties. My first cage to, to look at River trying to get the, the leaf. Here, honey. You're too cute. Alright. Um, I mean, it's put together just like any CNC cage. Um, I kept any connectors, these things, that were on there already, I kept. But mostly it's held together just by zip ties because it's just easier. For me, it's more um, secure. Um, what else? No doors, um, because it's all open, obviously. I really don't need doors. Kind of a pain in the ass to catch them if they can run under there and I want to pick them up. So for the most part, if I want to hold them, I kind of herd them upstairs <laughs> and grab them from up there. Um, you know, there's coroplast on the bottom. I still haven't, I still didn't put any around the edges, which I know I'm going to regret because they kick poop out, but maybe I'll add it later. I kind of ran out of coroplast. Um... Their toys I change up all the time, so I'm not really going to say, you know, this is where their tunnel is, because their tunnel's there now, but if I get bored after this video's made, it might go under there, like, you never know. This hay bin's kind of heavy because the bricks are in it, so it's a kind of a pain to give them hay. I might move the, the hay bin to under there, maybe, um, just to make it easier to give them hay, so I don't have to take it in and out all the time. Um... Yeah, I guess I'll just take pictures and put them on my blog, because it'll be easier for you guys to see. Alright, uh, thanks for watching. Sorry this is, oh, I have a cold, so I sound so blah, and, you know, the video is dark, but, you know, I figured I'd do it anyway. If you have any suggestions or whatever, let me know in the comments, or you can write to me on my blog. <laughs> I love watching them jump on the bricks. Thanks for watching, bye.